Tonight, we have an update in the global aquaponics case that Cumberland Investigates spent a year working on before exposing the fraud in 2017. Cumberland's Angela Kennedy joins us now with the latest developments and how victims of the scam may get a little money back. You'll remember that global aquaponics started by Tobias Reitzman promised to build a hydroponic vegetable and fish farm on 10 acres of land outside of Brookings. They even broke ground but never built anything and kept investors' money. Reitzman is currently in federal prison in Indiana serving a nine-year sentence. He's also been ordered to pay $680,000 in restitution to investors. The court has now approved a sale of the land back to its original owners. Real estate agents Todd Voss and David Knipe. Reitzman had originally promised to pay them $200,000 for the land, but never did. In a strange twist to the story, former Board of Regents president and lobbyist Dean Krogman traded in a twin home he owned, valued at $174,700 for the land, which he then gave to Global Aquaponics. Today, Knipe and Voss tell Kevlman Investigates they had to put money into the twin home in order to sell it, but they're still getting the 10 acres back for less than half of the original sale price. The court has agreed to an $80,000 purchase price. However, Reitzman won't see a dime. After real estate fees and taxes, the remainder of the money will go to Reitzman's victims.